Welcome to Interview Pro. Today, I'm going to start a new playlist on one of the most widely used open source JavaScript frameworks, which is nothing but Angular. This is one of my favorite frameworks. It provides a clear structure which helps developers to work with ease and build large and maintainable applications. Most of the tech giants from social media to healthcare use this framework to offer their services. I hope you like this new playlist. Without any delay, let's start by creating our first Angular application. This is a very simple process. You just need to follow three steps. Number one, install Node.js. We have already seen this in React.js playlist. However, I'm going to show the process again. Browse for Node.js.org, move to download section, Based on your operating system, click on 32-bit or 64-bit for the respective operating system. I am going to install a Windows Installer 64-bit. Once the download is completed, just click on it. This will open up a wizard where it, it does some processing and enables the next button. Just click on it. Accept the terms and conditions. Click on next, 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 and install. This will start installing Node.js and it will take some time. Once the installation is completed, just click on finish. You can verify the downloaded Node.js version in command prompt. Go to any directory of your choice uh, inside the C slash user slash uh, your username and uh, uh, type the command node space hyphen V. This would give us the version that we recently installed along with node npm. Node package manager will also be installed. Check the version using the command npm space hyphen v so the version that i have is 9.5.1 with this we have successfully completed the first step the second step is to install angular cli so previously we used to manually set up the angular project by installing all the required packages using npm and manually configuring various options or there is another way we can go to GitHub Angular Quick Start Repository, clone the repository and do npm install to install all the required packages. Now, this process has been simplified with the introduction of Angular command line interface, Angular CLI. This will allow us to quickly create our projects with all the files and required configurations in just one command. So the process to do that is First, install Angular CLI from Node Package Manager using the command npm i-g at the rate angular slash CLI. i stands for install, hyphen g stands for global. This command will install Angular CLI system wide so that you don't have to repeat this step every time you create a new project. Let's press enter and wait for CLI to be installed on our machine. In my machine, Angular CLI was already installed. Uh, this command will just update the version. So we are seeing just two lines of uh, logs here. But if you are installing Angular CLI for the first time, you would see a lot of logs and the process might take a few more minutes for you. Let's check the version of Angular CLI using the command ng space version.
So the Angular version which we installed is 16.0.0 and it would give us all the details along with Node.js version and the NPM version. If the CLI is not properly installed, you would see the error saying ng is not a recognized command. We are able to see the version, so our installation is successful. The third and final step is to create our project using Angular CLI. The command to create a new project is ng space new followed by the project name. I am going to name it as Angular hyphen tutorial. Press enter. This command would ask you a few uh, questions regarding Angular routing and all of this stuff. We will be covering all these concepts in our future videos, but for now, just say yes or simply type Y. And yes, I would like to use CSS, so click enter. This will start installing all the required packages to set up your Angular project. So the project creation has been complete. I have cleared the console to have more space. Uh, let's move to the project folder using cd space angular hyphen tutorial. This is the project name that I have given. You can give your own project name, tutorial, enter. So now we are in our project. To run this project and see uh, how your application looks, you just have to use one more command, which is ng-serve. This will build our application and render the UI into onto the browser. Now, uh, compilation is successful. We have to browse this location. Just click on this to see how your application looks. Finally, we have our Angular application running. Let's recap what we have done so far. First, we installed Node.js. Second, we installed Angular CLI using the command npm i-g at the rate angular slash CLI. In both these steps, we used node-v to check the version of Node.js, npm-v to check the version of Node Package Manager, ng space version to check the version of Angular CLI. These steps are required only for the first time. The third step is to create your project using the command ng new followed by your project name. And to run your project, use the command ng serve. Next time, if you create an, another new project, you don't have to follow step one and two. Uh, you definitely don't have to follow step one. But in step two, if you haven't used hyphen G in the command, you may have to install it again. But I would recommend use hyphen G so that you don't have to repeat this step again and again whenever you create a new project. And the third step is ng new. You will be using ng new if you want to create new projects. This is how we set up the Angular application. I hope the process is clear. If you have any questions, please comment below. Also, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.